Leo and Remy, two 13-year-old boys from a remote area of Belgium, are best friends and show a very close level of affection for one another. They frequently share the same bed in Remy's bedroom and fall asleep next to one another there. Leo is treated like a second kid by Sophie and Peter, Remy's parents. Leo and Remy enjoy playing together in a flower farm where Leo's family also assists with agricultural tasks. Following a pleasant summer spent together, the two lads enroll in high school and are placed in the same class. Three female students directly inquire about if the two are dating. Although Remy remains silent, Leo fiercely disputes it. As boys who notice their intimacy make homophobic remarks about Leo, he starts to feel uncomfortable with this outside perception. He makes new acquaintances and joins an ice hockey team, which he intentionally keeps Remy out of in an effort to avoid being shunned. Leo makes the choice to sleep on a different mattress one night while staying at Remy's. He sees Remy asleep on the same mattress as him when he awakens. Remy is injured and bewildered as a result of the two's increasingly brutal wrestling, which begins as fun play. They keep their parents in the dark about the incident. Despite Remy's attempts at engagement, Leo grows increasingly aloof from Remy during the school year. Leo quits staying the night at Remy's house, starts going on bike rides with students other than Remy, keeps playing ice hockey, and spends more time helping out at the farm with his family. Leo defends herself when Remy eventually confronts her about why they hardly ever spend time together anymore. Remy strikes Leo in the playground in front of other classmates after becoming upset and furious. One day, Remy's classmates learn that he killed himself, following a school excursion during which he is absent. Leo assumes right once that he is to blame for this as he withdrew. Even during the school's provided class therapy sessions, he keeps his feelings to himself and avoids talking to anyone about them. Sophie found Remy's body, which Leo also discovers. Leo responds with a defiant rejection to the fact that his co-workers' descriptions of Remy in obituaries are that of a joyful and amiable youngster. By continuing to play ice hockey and work in the garden with his family, Leo makes a futile attempt to numb his inner suffering and mask it. Leo is able to confide in his older brother Charlie for solace, despite the fact that none of his new friendships compare to the intimate bond he had with Remy. He is aware that in order to keep his relationship with Sophie intact after Remy's burial, he must speak to Sophie. Leo, though, is reluctant to discuss what transpired between him and Remy for fear of arousing her ire. Peter sobs inconsolably during Charlie's explanation of his future plans during dinner with Leo's family as Sophie and Peter lament the loss of Remy's future. Leo unexpectedly pays a visit to Sophie at her place of employment when the following summer break begins. He ultimately tells her that he thinks Remy's suicide was his responsibility for pushing him away as she drives him home. Following a brief tense period, she hugs him tenderly and consolingly as they sob together, finding solace in their shared loss. Later, when Leo goes to go see Sophie once more, he discovers that she and Peter have left, leaving the house empty. Leo crosses the field where he and Remy used to run while reflecting on their relationship and allowing himself to at last shed tears for Remy. <laughs>